1. The Workplace Joker From the beginning, this collaborator appears to coexist well with everybody, downplaying everything, for certain people, this consistent kidding and giggling might be a certifiable endeavor to alleviate pressure, yet the workplace joker frequently has a ulterior rationale, through giggling, she endeavors to fabricate connections to earn particular treatment or even to harm others' notorieties to propel her own profession, assuming this individual just makes messes around managers and others with power, thinking of ulterior motive is most likely protected, tread carefully around the workplace joker, however recall that she isn't exactly your concern, the supervisors will ultimately understand that this joker has no genuine unique interactions to colleagues, particularly assuming she is making jokes to the detriment of associates. 2. The Workplace Tattle One of the most frequently normal office characters, the tattle, knows all and leaves out nothing, each office has one, he figures out how to hear all the in-office news and furthermore turns into a specialist on the individual lives and shortfalls of associates. Tact is an unfamiliar idea to him, so what he knows, he imparts to anybody who stops sufficiently long. Managing a tattle dog can be interesting, since you'll for the most part need to chat with him about projects. However, keep the conversation stringently on business at the point when the subject starts to float to the individual. Remove yourself rapidly with the reason of squeezing work and approaching cutoff times. 3. The Workplace Fawner This is the staff part who is continually complimenting individuals, particularly those in power. She may likewise appear to praise associates by requesting help and thoughts with little response. On the off chance that she's great at praises, it very well might be hard to discern whether she's veritable, yet, most administrators know how to distinguish a phony disposition and perceive and disregard, or get down on the brown noser. 4. The Workplace Saboteur An adult rendition of the jungle gym menace, the saboteur is transparently and reliably condemning of other colleagues, manipulating associates and making them look terrible. He's probably not going to get a sense of ownership with his own shortcomings or missteps, like the youth menace. This office saboteur might withdraw when stood up to, on the off chance that you're not happy doing that, or on the other hand assuming it's ineffectual. Keep a definite log of the cooperations on a scheduler organizer, kept in a genuinely nonpartisan language whenever the situation allows, and examine what is going on with a supervisor or with a HR specialist. 5. The Workplace Credit Poacher You might have experienced this office privateer. She takes thoughts from associates or makes crafted by others look like her own. It tends to be hard to counter the cases, yet making some noise intensely and much of the time to share your own thoughts before partners in group gatherings can assist with taking the credit hoodlum off. In the event that talking in broad daylight is hard for you, look at certain tips in group working as a contemplative person. Ensure you get an attribution for your work by refreshing your group supervisor oftentimes on your advancement. 6. The Workplace Crusader A political lobbyist could take illustrations from the Workplace Crusader. He pushes hard to get people on his side of pretty much any issue, and he can frequently influence conclusions by weakening. There are a few strategies for managing him. Overlook him, 
so his cries go unheard voice your own perspectives on projects, particularly assuming that you can't help contradicting the lobbyist make sense of your position completely, as you might adjust his perspective. 7. The Workplace Mentor Continuously accessible to offer guidance, this individual frequently has the Year of Organization initiative, which gives to her a considerable measure of aberrant power, she fills in as an informal expert to administrators and managers, keeping them informed, and, perhaps, going about as a watchman for them. The best reaction to this office government official is to get to know her, making the most of her in the background impact. These tips might assist you with enduring the workplace issues wars, be aware of the various characters you interact with, so you're not surprised by any of their shenanigans down the line.